uh, for now in the in the synthetic index market there is nothing that i'm seeing né? but uh yeah as as the day goes by uh, I, I, i will uh be able to spot some opportunity because there are some few opportunities that i'm still waiting for for them to be uh ripe so here it's the currency market né? uh usd card usd card uh uh, uh it, it seems like a selling opportunity né? the first thing it is uh the the the, the, the downtrend on this daily time frame né? it is the downtrend on the daily time frame and then here is something beautiful uh on the uh four hour né? we we can see that we had some kind of uh, of a corrective wave but the corrective wave was a little bit longer né? uh it was a corrective wave which went up just like that uh in in a form of a, 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 a channel like that né? and it was broken here however as it was going down do you see that momentum or strength started decreasing all the way from this high because uh, from there the market was giving us some kind of lower highs and lower lows so it was telling us that now the strength is on the seller side so even this tool here it confirmed dive uh, some some kind of a double double uh, confirmation né? Uh, you can see also when it comes to divergence that we can see that this one is higher than this one but looking at the price you can see that here we have this high which is lower than the next high but the indicator is telling us a different story which is a, a, a divergence né? so it was another confirmation so we've been waiting for it to be broken and first the, the, the bigger corrective pattern was broken here which was uh, the first confirmation of the entry and then the second one it, it is the break of this uh, 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 channel that is going down here né? so yeah we're putting the cells and our stop losses are above there because it is like that the trade might also not work né? considering uh, 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 the length of this corrective wave but uh, we are putting our risk management in place so that uh, I will benefit uh, well if it goes on our side and if it doesn't go on our side we, we will lose less which is something good for a profitable trader né? and then our targets this could be your first target and then the next target it will be determined by your reward né? which is uh, three percent of your account né? it will be determined by the reward and as well remember we don't exit trades by just putting levels we also identify the behavior of the price as it approaches that level if it approaches our take profit with, with high strength it means that we have to drag our take profit all the way down né? if it approaches our take profit decreasing in strength let's say it start decreasing in strength here that way we need to be exiting our trades without even them hitting our tp né? let us not apply hope and then the next one let us check on uh, usd new zealand the same thing applies a breakout of a pattern né? it's an uptrend market uh, let me just uh, quickly quickly uh, uh, give a glance on the on the daily you can see in the daily it's a very very strong uptrend né? it's a very strong uptrend so here it's a good buying opportunity why because there was a break of the descending or, or the triangle pattern which was forming the corrective wave né? same thing applies even in in that uh in this corrective or uh, wave uh momentum started going up in buy side starting from here because we are now seeing higher highs uh, uh yet the market was busy squeezing because we don't see higher highs on the side né? i mean these are higher lows né? we don't see higher highs on the upper side the market started squeezing né? so we're waiting for the breakout and the breakout happened so good buying opportunity stop loss be, be below these levels and our targets all the way up in the three percent and as well this is one but it's kind of uh i'm updating you late guys uh we've been buying this one as well uh with the other guys on the other side né? we've been buying this one uh we've been buying this one gold né? uh we bought it somewhere close around there but it's, uh, i feel like i just have to also present this to you because i think uh, uh it's still a, a bit not uh late né? it's still a bit not late but make sure we, we apply our risk management because the key thing is that we can never know where the market will go the market can surprise us and go down né? so we need to apply that ris the risk management in place né? so yeah some kind of uh, i'm expecting the market to continue in the in this ranging manner so we're expecting it to push a little bit high to that resistance level maybe if it bounces back let it go back again but we are just i'm just expecting that the, the range to happen but surely i don't know it might not work uh, uh determining this key level né? the price might be rejected but i believe uh, uh that it will not determining the, the 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 strength of this uh zone here and as well looking at the previous uh what am i doing yeah extending this level né? 
looking here, looking here even before, that's why I say I respect uh, the strength of it because looking at here before, this is where aggressiveness started when it comes to the buyers. Uh, the buyers were still struggling, the market was struggling all, all the way and then from here, somewhere around here, that's where it started to shoot up aggressively. So, And then it went down again, came back and came again, it just was rejected all the way up. So I believe that even now it is going to be rejected up but we don't know. Only the market knows what uh, what is going to happen. So that's it, guys, for today. Let us put uh, risk management first. Let us make sure we go with a good risk-reward ratio. And, yeah, we are surely going to be successful.